this time it's gonna be different. This time I'm prepared. I'm prepared to do what the old version of me couldn't do. That version of me, physically and mentally, didn't have what it took. Well, that version of me has died. For the next 16 weeks, I'm pushing myself not only physically, but mentally to be the best damn version of myself. Join me along on my journey and let me inspire you to become the best version of yourself. What's going on guys? Welcome back. We are two days out right now from competing. Yeah, two days out. It is Thursday. I'm excited. I'm about to get a, one of my workouts in and posing sessions in with my coach at Alphaland. So I'm going to take you guys along through that. Hopefully um, my camera does not die. I'm going to try to charge it on the way. Um, today is a carb update as well. I got 300 carbs today. I've been doing depletion this whole week and a little bit earlier last week. So I've been depleting for almost a little bit over a week now. So it's nice to finally get some carbs in me. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along the way and let's get it. Alright, so we're here guys. Literally just made it here to Alpha Land. I'm feeling a little bit bloated. Today was a higher carb day, 300 carbs, and I had like 30% of my carbs this morning, so I'm feeling like a little bit bloated. I had granola, and granola's a little bit, I don't want to say like high in sugar, but it has a good amount. So I guess like I was just a little, I guess that's kind of making me feeling like shitty. I don't feel too great just yet. But hopefully once I do get into the workout, and if we do get started, I do feel a lot better. Sick. <laughs> Straighten out your legs like you can. You're going to let this cable travel down as far as possible. Yeah, big chest. Reach out forward. And now come back. Big chest is the back. So here's what you're doing. Big stretch. Yeah. Big pull. Okay. You sure? I don't think that's optimal. Fuck, give me a Uh, big stretch. Ooh. I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> this exercise feels so much better when I take a palm product. I feel like I've been I've never taken a palm product. I just feel like all of my back muscles. All that happens is like your your what this movement does, it just fills your fucking back with blood. Yeah. Every time you stretch, you feel all those It feels good. I feel like somebody punched my back right now, they break their hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heavy. <laughs> yeah. 70? Like yeah. Chest down, chest down, chest down, chest down. Now go. Now big chest. Yes. Chest down, chest down, chest down, chest down. Now go, now big chest. Yes. Press the ceiling as you pull. Press the ceiling as you pull. Good. Feel that? Yeah. Sorry, bro. You're good, you're good. Go ahead, bro. And hours back. I got like maybe 45 minutes after the somehow. They went to I don't know. I'm just gonna stick to like more East Coast shows. I don't know. I feel like I feel, I feel like there's, there's definitely politics in East Coast bodybuilding, West Coast. 
And that wraps this workout up. Got a great pump. Got a good posing session in. And now I'm gonna keep posing for at least like 30 to 40, 30 to 40 minutes. Because I really want to nail this posing down. And this is pretty much how it looks so far. Um, show you guys what it looks like. Let's walk up, smile. That's pretty much how it looks. I'm gonna keep posing that until I get that shit down pat. Um, pretty confident in the physique that I brought this year. Last year, for 2020, I didn't bring the best physique. And this year, I brought an overall better package. So I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep posing. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to day two. Uh, it is Friday, it is a, it's about, um, 6 30 or so in the morning no something is around like seven right now just woke up about to go back to alpha land about to get a workout in with my coach and i brought my food here uh you probably can't see it i have two rice cakes with um some peanut butter on it um two slices of bread and then i have some protein oats with some more pink himalayan salt on it i actually had to stop at the store the other day and get some more pink himalayan pink himalayan salt I'm putting in like two or three twists on everything I eat. It's just gonna help me keep the vascularity in the veins in my arms when I am working out and when I step on stage, it's gonna help a lot. And I'm also having a black coffee. I don't know how people drink just straight black coffee. Um, you, you have to be different to drink black coffee. You just have to. Um, black coffee is just not the best. Um, it's just super, super bitter, it's super bitter. But we're going to get some more posing in. Um, I got to go get my spray tan later as well after the gym. So I'm going to take you guys along through all of that. Alright, so, so far, I've done a couple of exercises. When I first got here, I was pretty bloated, so I did a couple of steps for us. I hit around, I'm almost at 4,000 steps so far. It's an upper body day today, so no cardio, no, no actual cardio, I'm just hitting my steps. I'm trying to get this food to go down, and then I'm going to have some posing later, and then tanning. Yeah. I have not used this machine in years. And that's a little too heavy. Try to do one at a time. Oh, that's a lot better. So I'm doing three to 15 sets, or three to 15 uh, reps on uh, each of these. I'm not taking any of these sets to failure. I'm mainly getting 12 to 15 reps. Because I don't want the muscle to be inflamed when I step on stage or tight. The work's already been done. Now it's just time to show it off. Oh. <sighs> 
I really like how this gym is outdoors. I like the, all the bay doors open because you can really feel like the breeze and stuff. But during the summer, this is not the move. It would not be the move. So, just finished that workout. Now it is time for my final, um, my final posing session here. It's gonna be my last one. Um, I'm doing it by myself solo right now. And then I'm gonna pose again with my coach. Um, really need to nail this routine down because I did change a couple of things. Um, so I don't wanna like mess up on stage, you know, just like second guess what I'm doing. I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do this. From my back, instead of just going into this pose like this, I'm gonna be here, transition, and then I wanna show off my chest. So I'm gonna flex, and then, and then pose. Smile, and then walk off stage. And then when I'm lined up with the uh, other competitors, I'm gonna be in my pose like this, while having my foot, this is what I need to remember, having my foot slightly turned out to the right. It's gonna look more natural, it's gonna look more, um, more like a, a men's physique competitor. Standing like this and having your, um, your obliques like, kind of like push towards this the side is more of like a feminine pose. So I wanna have my foot out slightly turned. There you go. And I really like this room because I can see, I can literally like see like my back. Guys, so we literally just finished up our last working on prep. We finished up our cardio on prep. Uh, I have less than 10,000 steps left. I have like 2,000 steps more and then I'm done. I need to finish my food by 5 or 7 today. Finish my gallon. I can't be eating later than 8 p.m. to 7 p.m. tonight. I'm here. Um, I'm back on my side of town. I need to get a tan. So I'm at this place right now that my girlfriend recommended me. And I'm about to go in and I'm about to go get this tan. So uh, hopefully it comes out right.